I'll be taking Bold Gold, which is just uh, one of the 24-hour tattoo products, and I'm taking a synthetic brush. And I'm not going to put any um, eyeshadow primer because these work well without it. So I'm just going to take that all over the lid up to the crease. And you just really want to pack that color on. Alright, and now I'm going to be taking this gold shadow. Uh, it's by Elizabeth Arden. And I'm just going to take a, let's see, this is the brush I use. I'm just going to take a uh, fluffy brush, and I'm just going to brush that across on top of the um, color tattoo. Alright, and then I'm going to take a little bit up higher. And I'm extending it all the way out to the hairline. Okay, and now I'm going to go in with a lighter gold color. And I'm taking this color right here. You just want something that's really light. And I'm going to be using the same brush. And that color is going to be going right underneath the brow. If you get some on your eyebrow like I just did, just, you know, clean up the brow um, by filling it in with a little bit more of whatever powder it is that you used. Alright, so I'm going to take a little bit more of the Elizabeth Arden gold and just going to blend it out. And next I'm taking Goldmine by MAC, which is just, this is going to be like the darkest gold shade that I'm using. And I'm just going to brush that over. You just want to get out, you know, all of your gold eyeshadows that you have and utilize all of those. Um, I didn't really know what I was doing when I was doing this look as far as what I wanted to do for the eyes because I kind of wanted it to look like the face chart, but... Not really. Um, so this next step I did do, but then I kind of covered it over um, and fixed it to the way I liked it. So you don't necessarily have to do this step. But um, I'm taking this color by Jessie's Girl, and it's called Flambe. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to be taking a pencil brush. And I'm going to be putting it in the corner. And then I'm going to put some on the outer corner. So I'm just going to dust off the excess off of the brush and then just blend it in. Like I said, this step isn't necessarily needed. I mean, if you like the way it looks, then just go ahead and keep it. I didn't think it looked right with there being red on the eye and then it's kind of blending down to the darker color. So I wanted to keep the eye um, lighter. So anyway, that's what I did. But then I went back over with the bold gold. And then... Just patted that on so that it lightens the color up a little bit. Alright, so next I'm going to be using a red lip liner, um, but if you're not that confident in your drawing skills, then go ahead and take a white liner. Like I said, I mean, this one's fairly easy. It doesn't have to be symmetrical, so that's kind of nice. Alright, so once you have that in, what you want to do is you want to go back and make the line thicker. I'm going to go back in with a synthetic brush, and I'm just going to pull the color out away from 
the edge of the line. You have that done, you want to do your concealer. Just um, because you want this area to be light because that's where the gold is going to be going. So I'm just going to take that. in with um, the flambe color. I'm going to go in with that and I'm going to be using the same brush and I'm just going to be pressing that down on the red. Okay, so I'm going to finish that and I'll be right okay. back. So once you have all of that, the red placed down, you just want to kind of start to brush it in. Um, but it's going to be best if you do that with a clean brush so that way you don't drag it up too far so just on the edges only similar to how I told you to do it with the eyeliner so I'm going to go back in with the fluffy brush and I'm going to be taking a combination of these two colors this one's gold mine and I'm not sure what this one is but like I said, just get out all your gold shadows. So I'm just going to mix them up on the brush. And then I'm just going to be placing it under my eyes. And just blending it all the way out to the hairline here. Using, um, this brush here. And what I like to use with um, when I'm applying glitter on the face is I use the Urban Decay All Nighter. Um, setting spray because it does feel a little bit tacky when you um, spray it on. So I'm just going to spray that. You will have to do this a couple times um, if you don't work quickly enough. So the first color I'm going to take is the gold. And I'm just going to press that onto the eye. Um, because this is cosmetic grade glitter, it is safe to put on your eye area. Um, but if you can't find cosmetic grade glitter, um, you won't want to put it on the eye area because if it gets in your eye, it might um, scratch your cornea. And now I'm going to go in with the, um, with the bronze color. So I'm only going to concentrate the bronze color down here where the color um, where you see the colors blended right here the gold and the red I'm gonna go in with the red now the red I'm only going to concentrate where the red is okay so here's the finished look um, for the lips I just went in with the same pencil um, that I used to draw the flames um, so I just put that on the entire lip, and then on top of that I went in with the same eyeshadow. Um, and it's fine, if you're going to wear this look for the whole evening, it should actually stay there um, without it feeling like too dry or uncomfortable. Um, but because I wanted to add glitter, I went in and I put just a little bit of lip gloss, and then I put the glitter on top of that, because it needs the glitter isn't going to stick to just the shadow. Um, especially on your lips, and it's not going to actually stay on for the whole night. So if you do this, you're going to want to take your glitter with you. Alright, so that's it for the look. If you guys have any questions, let me know.